Yo, Ryan O, behavior analyst and creator of all things behavior analysis on The Daily BA here. Welcome. We nerd out on psychology, and today, a quick overview of B.F. Skinner's radical behaviorism. That is this guy. All right, first, quick definition. Radical behaviorism, a thoroughgoing form of behaviorism that attempts to understand all human behavior, including private events such as thoughts and feelings, in terms of controlling variables in the history of the person, that is their ontogeny, and the species, or phylogeny. All right, broken down a bit more. An approach to explain behavior. In behavior analysis, behavior is everything that we do. A living, breathing, and functioning organism, everything that we do. Non-human animals are included. And when Skinner says radical, this is not the, the meaning that you're probably thinking of. It has a secondary definition meaning whole or all-encompassing. That is, it takes into account the totality of the human experience. It's rooted in evolutionary science, which means that variables are looked at through uh, the effect that it has on the organism in some sort of way. This may be through the lifetime of the organism, which is your ontogeny, the behavior that you require within the lifetime of your, your, your living on this planet. That is the skills and the experience that you have throughout your lifetime that you require. That is your ontogeny and the skills and abilities that you have as a result of being a member of the species itself, which would be your phylogeny. Things like your reflexes, when someone uh, hits you in your patellar tendon or you're blinking if something is like wind is blowing dust into your face. So let's get an example in here. Let's take something like asking a question to yourself of why someone may not have called you back. Let's say that you had a meeting or maybe it was a hot date. Regardless, they stop speaking to you. This ghosting effect can be explained in different ways, but a radical behaviorist would ask questions and gain insight through actual empirical data that help them better understand. So is there some sort of event that happened that is keeping the person from responding back to you? Is it because their phone is on silent? Is it because they found someone new that can fulfill their interests in a different way than you? These sort of questions would be asked, looked at, measured, and as a result, a more thorough understanding would come about that contradicts other widely held approaches like trying to understand someone else's mind or assuming things without tangible evidence or looking for answers that aren't rooted in ways that include the environmental variables. So a couple common questions. Is this approach still viable? Yes. While it's been a, a number of years since it was formulated, I think it was 74 where Skinner started to kind of like put this all together. It's also transformed a bit and a different branch of philosophy has come about that's called functional contextualism, which I'll link down below. All right, does the approach make room for things like the mind or the soul, etc.? No, remember it's rooted in evolutionary science. It is a natural science and so no hypothetical constructs like that are a part of the explanation, but they may be things which are stated that can then be analyzed through the lens of a behavior analytic uh, perspective. Is this a predominant approach of BCBAs, Board Certified Behavior Analysts? Uh, unclear what the actual stats really are of how many practice from which different set of assumptions, but many operate from the stance in our writings, that is in our empirical journals, but there's a few other forms of behaviorism that are out there that you can explore as well. In my next video coming out the day after this, uh, I'll share one of the other main approaches, which is called methodolo methodological behaviorism. So that's it, super quick. This video is brought to you by people like you, patrons, people that actually support my efforts financially. For the last three years, I've spent an, uh, a ton of time and, and, and lost money, like actually lost money creating these videos because I think they're important. This field's important and there are important people like you doing important things that the world needs to hear about. So if this is something that you're for, consider supporting down below. And uh, thank you for your time. That's your daily BA.